<laughs> yeah. Yo, big guy! It's busy fancy blazing me up a slice of that fat, juicy melon, dude. <coughs> no, of course, of course not, of course not. No. Oh, uh, where did it come from? Where did you get it from? Right, now we're getting somewhere. Shop was shut. I'll buy that one off you. <laughs> nah. Come on, big guy. I'll make you a good offer. Yeah, going right. Look, um, let's just say that you bought that melon, that gorgeous, beautiful, juicy melon, for ten quid. Let's yeah, just bye. say, let's just say that, yeah? I would be prepared to pay twice that. Double. Oh, yeah. That's 20 pounds. You following me? <laughs> Mate. <laughs> okay, look. Um, look. Okay. Let me try and speak your lingo, mate, yeah? This, yeah, this is the melon. Okay, now this, okay, this is your half, this is your half of the melon, yeah? Okay. Yeah? Okay, now no one can take that away from you, yeah? That's yours, all of it. The pips and everything, even the flesh, the mouth-watering, 
juicy, watery flesh. Yeah, anyway. Anyway, well, how much is the melon worth? 20 quid. And your half? 10. And how much did you pay for it? 10. 10 pounds, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Do you see? So this half, yeah? My half? That's free, mate. That's free. I mean, anything you make on this half is pure profit, yeah? Even if it was just like, say, a pound, just say. That's pure profit for you, yeah? You see where I'm coming from? Do you dig me, mate? You see what happens when you get some proper sound financial advice? It's pretty extraordinary, isn't it? And in fact, you've got to be pretty bally clever to think up all that stuff. Nah! Oh, you're not even bloody eating it! Well, I need it to keep cool. You're just looking at it! Well, so are you. You're teasing me, aren't you? You're teasing me, you. You! You're taunting me! You! Oh, oh, oh. What? 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 what, what, what give me the melon! Give me the melon! What's going on here? Nothing. Nothing. Oh. Sorry, I, I didn't realise you were a couple of fruits. Oh. Anyway, behave. You won't be very popular if you take that on the train, you know? I say, you're not going to make any friends bringing the melon on the train, yeah? It's obvious, isn't it? It's not going to fit in the overhead thing, is it? And you can't leave it lying around the floor, rolling around all over the place, knocking over small children and whatnot. Hello? Think about other people for a change, mate. Did it ever occur to you that that is a bloody health hazard? Frankly, it's a menace. It's a menace to society, that melon. Yeah? They'll probably fine you. Ten pounds, I should think. Ten pounds. That's more than five. Where are you going to find that sort of money? Look, you know, maybe I can help you out here, geez, you know? I could just take the melon off your hands, you know, for your own good. Just sidestep the whole train issue altogether. Go on, please, man. Oh. Please, for God's sake, please, just, just look, look at you, just look at you, you're just sitting there on cloud nine itself, you know, and all I want is just one little itty bitty lick. I just want to lick it, I just want to lick Come it. Come on, lick... fellas, I'm asking nicely. It's too hot for all this. I, I just wanted to taste this Enough. big glistening. I said, I want to throw the rule book at you. It'll go all limp in the heat anyway. <laughs> Oi! I'll toss you for it. Oh. Yo, mate. I don't think you even want this melon. <laughs> you just want it because I have it. Yeah, you following me so far? Even though I've told you I need it to stay cool. It's not the melon you crave. It's the idea of owning the melon. Yeah, you following me so far? You don't love the melon. You just wanna own it. Get your grubby little mitts on it. See, I could just give this to you right now and that's all it would take to make you very happy, isn't it? How pathetic to be that materialistic. Do you know what, geezer? I think I 
I'd better hang on to this, just for your own good. Stay cool, yeah?